everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis. So, big day again in Avenue. They send an update about Battlefield, how matchups are going to work, how rewards are going to work, how scoring is going to work for all stars, all that sort of stuff. Tons of people are confused. I'm going to do my best to break it down for you, let you know. Uh, join my Discord, all sorts of talks going on about that as well information how to join with the link is in the description to the video also in my uh, discord you will find all sorts of services that will help you find monsters create family members get more resources in your uh, alliances that sort of stuff so let's get to it so here's the emails so battlefield optimization based on feedback yeah 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 i doubt it adjusted the rules for matching opponents in both battlefields, BOG and BOC, making it easier for your alliance to match worthy opponents. Okay, so now they're going to tell us how they match. Increased the impact of alliance power on alliance score. Weird wording. In each battlefield, alliances with higher alliance power will earn more alliance scores. Like, normally that's how it works. <laughs> Making it easier for them to rank higher on the Alliance ranking. Yeah, that's just... No one understands this. So, half the people in my Discord seem to think this is just poor wording. And they're saying impact of Alliance power on Alliance score like there's a score created when you sign up for Battlefield. Like... You know, your alliance has a score of 300, and that alliance has a score of 295, so we're going to match you. And then some people seem to think, no, this actually has to do with the alliance score at the end of Battlefield. Alliances with higher alliance power will earn more alliance scores. Like, does that mean when you're at the end of Battlefield, if, like you know, you have a leftover 25 billion still alive versus the other team that is down to 1.2 billion. There's going to be some ratio where they multiply at the end for scores. This just doesn't make sense. Like, Evany needs to come clean on this one and answer. They need a Q&A for this email. This is stupid wording. Enhance the... So I'm just going to call that inconclusive. Not really sure what they're talking about. Enhance the advantages for the winning side. After the battlefield ends, the personal scores of all members of the winning alliance for that round will be fully counted. So in the past, you used to lose points based on were some of your points for reinforcing buildings or teammates, that sort of stuff. Now they're all going to count. If you end battlefield with 25,000 points, you got it. However, if you lose battlefield you're only going to get 60% of your points. So if you end Battlefield with 10,000 points, but you lost, you now have 6,000 points in the standings. That's going to hurt uh, mid-tier players, I believe, when trying to qualify for All-Stars if you're on a losing team. I think it's also going to put a real damper on point trading. People used to trade points for things like, uh, you know, making All-Stars, getting wonder three but now how can you trade with the other side when one side's gonna lose and only get 60 percent so yeah so i, I kind of like this i think there's a good you know it should be on the winning side ebony should be doing everything they can to eliminate point trading even though they could just go into the reports and actually punish people four Added a reward for personal scores reaching 1,800 in a single round and increased the number of badges in the score rewards. Added a reward for personal scores. So it used to be 1,250, I think. That's the difference. Now it's 1,800. Participate in the battlefield. Defeat your opponents and compete for higher rankings and generous rewards. Okay. That, so that's one of them, and basically it just has to do with uh, some people complain that they didn't get uh, tokens that they bought paid for, and Ebony fixed it. So let's look at the actual rewards. Okay, so BOG. Now there's badges. There wasn't badges before. Uh, everything else kind of seems to be very similar, except they added the 1800 level versus the 1200 level. So 
I believe this was the max before, 180 tactic scrolls in BLG. BLG's always been lower rewards than BOC, which is why people don't care much about it. And BOC rewards. So badges, 620. That's really good for you know winning 500 for losing. And then we got... You know, not much else has changed. 350 tactic scrolls, yeah, it used to be 300. And 280, 240 if you lose. So pretty good rewards. You know, the tactic scrolls, uh, you know, like I said uh, in yesterday's video, 350. Okay, maybe you can do one minor upgrade in the military academy with that. Really not a large amount, but, uh, you know, it's something. I think these rewards should actually be larger. I go into the rules for All-Stars. Qualifying rules, does it say players who rank the top 400 uh, and his alliance must be... Okay, so they didn't get rid of that. So it still stands. Your alliance still must be top 500. Uh, I feel like they should have put that in the email. Now it's a little confusing for people. Um, I guess your team total is still going to get cut as well. And your player scores if you lose. It really seems like they're really coming down on the losing teams in Battlefield. Some people in my Discord were talking about how this will really impact the players who leave to go into a solo alliance to qualify. I don't think so. I think they're going to be fine because they're probably going to win. If you're 20B, you go into a solo alliance, you're probably just playing like new players who are like 1 billion, 700 million, 1.2 billion. You're just going to crush them. But it's really going to hurt those second tier players on teams that lose often who try and make all-stars so anyways let me know your thoughts on the new uh format that they're doing for qualifying and all that sort of stuff and uh let me know if you how you interpret this one rule i really really don't know how to interpret number two increased the impact of alliance power on alliance score so you're just getting points for having power? I, I really just don't understand this. So let me know your thoughts on that one. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.